short production times have created a unique opportunity for J.J. Abrams and his editor, Marianne Brandon. The Rise of Skywalker was edited on set, or at least parts of it were, and as an editor myself, I find this fascinating. However, it's probably important to explain a few things. Essentially, The Rise of Skywalker has four fewer months than The Force Awakens had in regards to its post-production timeline. This motivated Marianne to suggest to J.J. Abrams that she edit on set, which J.J. initially thought was an odd idea. But given the reality of how large this entire picture is, J.J. Abrams realized that this probably is a very smart idea, and getting a jump on editing was very important. Now, a lot of people will hear about this news and only hear shorter production schedule, or rushed timeline. This shorter timeline is true, but it's actually not that big of a deal. If anything, this is something that seems to be becoming pretty popular. Bring the editor on set. As a personal anecdote, I was lucky enough to edit on set twice for two commercials, and to be absolutely honest, it was incredible and extremely efficient. I had my little edit station at a house where the production was happening, I would receive cards to ingest as scenes were being completed, then I would begin making my selects and assembly edit. In between takes, the directors and creatives would come and check in on the assembly to see how things were working out. It allowed real-time feedback and ended up streamlining the entire rest of the process of making this advertisement. At the end, I think we actually were early by a few days, and in advertising, that's actually a pretty huge deal. Knowing that this worked on a very small scale, such as a commercial, the benefit of doing this on a motion picture would be extremely similar. Marianne is able to suggest new shots to help her assembly of the scenes they are shooting on set, and JJ can sort of direct, shoot, and shape his film all at the same time by reacting to what he sees. Now, another interesting thing that I just learned, Marianne Brandon has also edited every single film J.J. Abrams has made, not just The Force Awakens. So having her on set, knowing J.J. very intimately, most definitely has sped up the editorial process. I personally believe that this style of editing on set will become popular because of how much time it can save, as well as potentially driving down the need for a reshoot. One of the best aspects of Star Wars is its editing. It's integral to the language of Star Wars and a major factor in why we love it. Even with this edit timeline for The Rise of Skywalker being a bit tighter than usual, I don't think it's something to worry about, especially at the level of skill we're talking about. The Rise of Skywalker will without a doubt have that fast-paced J.J. Abrams vibe we all know, and you can thank his editor for that. Star Wars is an ever-evolving story, and how the soup gets made is always evolving as well. The original trilogy gave us visual effects in a way we had never seen. It combined motion control and miniature work in such unique ways. The prequel trilogy pioneered motion capture and full-scale CG sequences, and now the sequel trilogy is spicing things up a bit by turning post-production and actual production into this kind of amorphous blob of collaboration. And for me, that's fucking awesome. Don't worry about this rush timeline information. If anything, what I would do is check out a video I have linked below on Marianne herself talking about editing The Rise of Skywalker. As always, may the force be with you. This is the Adat Chat, signing off.